Um, I think what makes a wedding reception memorable is uh, that a wedding reception is just a series of moments. Um, and there's always going to be revelers. There's always going to be people that want to dance. There's always going to be people that, people that want to take the mic and sing. Um, and so it's finding the thread through those moments and sort of connecting them all. Uh, when I perform at a wedding, it's not just about myself and the musicians behind me, but we have three key elements that are integral to uh, the makeup of the band. That's you, that's your spouse, and that's your tribe or your family and the people that you love. So um, those three elements all combined with what we do as musicians brings everything together and that's what takes a moment from memorable to magical. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I haven't really thought of that. The, uh, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm a wedding singer, so that's, uh, <laughs> and I love to sing, so it's just, it just comes from me. It's like, it's, it's touching my soul whenever I get to, but, uh, I really think the MC sort of is curating the night and sort of finding all of the magical moments of the night, taking things from fun to unbelievably fun. So uh, I really think of um, a wedding reception as sort of storytelling. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. So I kind of look at it like a Broadway show. And as such, uh, I feel like the MCing that I do is important because it, it brings that storyline all the way through, but the singing is what I do to enhance it. It's part of the way in which I do the storytelling. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, when I first made the transition from uh, Broadway singing to uh, weddings, I, um, I earned a, a nickname very early on. Uh, they call me the Bride Whisperer. And uh, I don't know if it's because I, I'm a single dad to a little girl, and so like, I believe in making little girls' dreams come true, but that, that's, that's where the magic is for me. So um, I do, I go in, I, I guess I could become a little bit of a Prince Charming and a little bit of a um, court jester, anything to make, um, anything to make the bride smile. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> um, wow, that's a, uh, ooh, that's a tough one. Oh, gosh, there's a lot of them. Uh, I love, I love moments that I find with the band when we're when we're performing and we're sort of locked in as musicians and all of a sudden there's just this magical like something's happening or or uh, some person gets an idea they hear a song in their head and like oh this should transition nicely into this and they kind of go off the cuff and we go with them and we're like oh now we're on a roller coaster ride and it's bumping and turning and we don't know where we're going but the but the um, guests are loving it we're loving it and it's all just sort of mixing together and it's just right like those are my favorite moments so I I um, I, I love moments in um, <laughs> this is one time when uh, we had a bride who seemed a little quiet and shy, but uh, we started singing and we were dancing and everyone was having a good time. And we started doing that song by CC and Mu CC and Music Factory. Uh, Everybody dance now. Bow, 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 bow. And boy, did she come alive. I guess, <laughs> I guess it was like her favorite song back in the 90s. I don't know, but she got up on the stage. She grabbed my mic. She and our, our female lead singer were just tag team in the song back and forth and she was like everybody dance now Ugh. and she's bouncing the audience and, and, and everybody all her guests were just loving it. and i think that's probably one of my favorite moments oh i also there was this one time when um the groom was uh a music student and uh his professor of musicology at uh, berkeley uh, was like, hey, can I play a song with you guys? He got up on the drums and he did a song with us. And it was fantastic. And I think the bride uh, had approached us beforehand and asked like, might this be okay? Like, would you be okay with it? We were like, yeah, that sounds like fun, bring him in. And like, that was just one of those unforgettable moments that could have never happened and can never happen again at another wedding because we'll never have that mix of people right there. And that's just, those are the moments that I just cling to. They give me so much life.